passage begins right now, after the biggest geomagnetic storm this year the past week, we were granted a little break to recalibrate and integrate for the past couple of days. Since beginning of September, our human bodies as well as the whole organism of humanity has been permanently bombarded with very high light codes that have been beyond challenging for many people all over the planet. With the new moon today, the influx of high light frequencies is already picking up again. Important energy portals are opening up now, paving the way to the 11.11 gateway for the cleansing finals of 2016. We all decided jointly in the collective for an accelerated timeline, and that means that we are pushed into releasing and clearing old stuff in a very very short time frame. We are preparing for the beginning of 2017, within the first three months of the new year, those who have completed their cleansing, will experience major shifts in reality and will be fully anchored in 5D. As the time frame is shorter, the cleansing cycles are much more intense. Although this seems to be very uncomfortable and unfair, it needs to be this way. A system can only change when it is put into chaos first. Only then it can rearrange itself to implement the necessary structural changes. That is true for our own personal physical and energetic bodies as it is for humanity as a whole. Nevertheless, understandably, Many people are annoyed and tired with the question in mind, WTF, how much longer do I have to deal with this? The answer to that is astonishingly simple. This will last until your mental, emotional and your physical body has been cleansed from low 3D fear frequencies completely. The timing is very individual and depends on your willingness to let go and move forward and how much programming you are still carrying in your individual backpack. It is all about your choice, whether you stay in fear or choose love. It does not help that the paradigm still exists, that we are supposed to suffer endlessly as light workers and that the mission here on the planet is a big burden. Many are still convinced, that we have to carry the weight of whole humanity on our shoulders. Well, here comes the good news, it is not supposed to be this way. The only thing we are responsible for is our own return to our true healthy, authentic self, our light becomes so intense and strong, that any lower frequency gets absorbed and transmuted by our light, the only thing we are responsible for is our own return to our true, healthy, authentic self, that way, our light becomes so intense and strong, that any lower frequency gets absorbed and transmuted by our light, without any experience of pain, our only job is to inspire people, through leading by example and living a life of authenticity and freedom. We are not here to convince people or force people into a change that they, energetically, are not ready for. We know that those that are ready will naturally gravitate towards us, and yes, there is pain for us to go through in our cleansing process, but pain is just a part of our natural reflex and radar system. It alerts us that something is wrong and needs healing. We need this signal to feel and realize what we still need to work on. In addition to that, pain has the purpose to show us what we do not want to experience permanently. Without pain, we would not appreciate joy and bliss. We would not be able to tell the difference between light and dark. And that it is only there to overcome the cleansing fire we walk through to come out on a much higher frequency level on the other side. The more we understand the true role of pain and that it is only there to overcome it, the easier our journey becomes, the more we heal from our 3D illusions, the more we are able to live from a place of joy and playfulness and the less pain we experience. The accelerated timeline and increased energies available represent a huge chance to transmute your pain and old patterns a lot faster. It truly is a blessing in disguise, so please understand that you have the steering wheel in front of you. You can change your situation anytime. Your free will leaves you with a choice, love or fear, 5D or 3D. And as simple as it sounds, overcoming the old 3D patterns and programs is not easy. It means to move beyond being human, moving beyond beer or use the excuse, you have to understand my behavior. I am still human after all. Well, sorry to say, 
but that is a nice way of preventing our own ascension and healing. This whole process has the goal of overcoming typical human behavior and pain, believe it or not, but having ascended to 5D physically means that we have left the old paradigms of humanity, such as the ideas of the survival of the fittest, of competition and of duality behind, as long as we are still in human mode, we are still judging and blaming, we don't accept people the way they are and where they are at in their journey. We can be very spiritual and still be in ego land, and that means we are not trusting the flow and perfection of the universe and the larger organism we are all part of. In that case, we still put labels onto things and people and try to sort out and divide instead of embrace and unite. When we are still living from a place of ego, we still put labels onto things and people and try to sort and divide instead of embrace and unite. Yes. From a human perspective it can be hard to accept someone who has brought us pain, someone who is a big narcissist and claiming to know it all, or even a murderer or someone who abuses a child. But as hard as it seems to understand from a 3D human perspective, dash instead of judging and blaming, someone who has reached 5D feels compassion for those people and accepts them. 2. Someone in 5D sees the larger picture and purpose understands that these people also carry a lot of pain and misprogramming through third dimensional society they see that there is a reason why they became who they were people in 5d understand the necessity of many of them being here to trigger people and help humanity awaken being in 5d means accepting everyone and everything as is and being detached from any pain Having ascended to 5D means you can still relate to the pain that people go through in 3D but you cannot actively recall the pain to suffer with them. A life in 5D is a life of pure unconditional love, for everyone and everything, no exceptions, there is no fear. In 5D you recognize how everyone is important, and how perfect everything is from a larger perspective. You see the fake matrix that people have been living in like watching someone playing a computer game that has nothing to do with the larger reality you are living in the reality of new earth where we live in oneness and harmony without any conflicts or suffering because everyone accepts and loves themselves for who they are and shares that with everyone and everything in 5d everyone understands their mission and role the task comes easy and without any effort it is fun joyful and completely balanced to live in 5d it is a life where we naturally go with the flow trusting that the energy takes us and our intuition guides us to where we have to be 5d indeed is paradise and you can have it right now how embrace allow accept without identifying in order to access resonate and merge with the high energetic 5d vibes you have to learn to raise your vibration to a 5D frequency, and that means to unlearn everything society, churches, governments, schools etc have taught you. This is what is meant by moving beyond being human. It means to introduce compassion and gratitude to every experience you have, how unpleasant it may seem. It is very simple, just turn everything around by 180 degrees that you had ever believed to be true. Men are not supposed to cry, the opposite is true, because emotions are our natural reflex to get rid of energies that are not supposed to be in our system. You need to be better than others to make it in this world, the opposite is the case. Only when we appreciate each other for our differences and see the abundance in the different talents and gift everyone has, we can see the benefit of oneness and of each single contribution. Friends don't do that to each other, well. Why is it hurting you in the first place and what button is pushed for you that you need to heal? Turn everything around and challenge everything you thought was true and see the benefit in every situation. This question can be very helpful to do so, but who says that this is true? Who says that this is the right way? Who made the rules? Combine this with the question, what would unconditional love do? If I did not have any expectations or attachments to this situation or person, that is where you find the door to the 5D reality. Moving beyond being human means to shift from fighting and a feeling of lack and fear of survival, to receiving, allowing, 
a feeling of abundance and complete trust. To summarize it, moving beyond being human means to shift from fighting and a feeling of lack and fear of survival, to receiving, allowing, a feeling of abundance and complete trust, in short, embrace, accept all of your experiences in that moment and know they have their purpose although you might not be able to see it yet, you don't have to love them but embrace them and be grateful for them as part of your own growth and healing back to your true self. Tell yourself that this is just energy running through you. It does not define who you are, don't identify with the pain, learn how to transmute energies, allow yourself to freak out, not in a destructive way lashing out to others or hurt others or yourself, but it is perfectly fine and constructive. To be in a place where you find some privacy to have the space to scream, cry, lurch on the floor. Whatever helps you to release the pain and energy that is tied to it. Again, be grateful for the release to shift the energy upwards in frequency. With each of these experiences, each of the geomagnetic storms, you are upgraded. This is potential, there is more energy available than usual, and, although the pain might be more, the amount of energy available to transmute is also much higher, this helps you to move forward a lot quicker and to work through a lot of stuff a lot faster, but that asks from you to accept the pain in that moment instead of going crazy with fear, because there is another challenging geomagnetic storm forecast or planetary constellation coming up, also here, turn it around, see the potential. Each time you do that instead of going into the fear mode, and you feel compassion for yourself and others, you are transforming energy to a higher frequency and free yourself from old pain. All of these situations and people are a gift for you, either in form of a reward, or in form of a lesson that contributes to your growth. Understand that the wheel of karma has already been dissolved, if you are still feeling as if you are still caught up in it. Recognize that is an outdated program still running on your system that you can delete any time. So every time you catch yourself using the excuse of still being human, take a deep breath and be honest to yourself. Where do you still have a wound to work on? Being in 5D means to live a fearless and painless life completely in the now, without any thought spirals without any emotional breakouts and without any physical illness. Nothing and no one can harm or hurt you in 5D. You are truly free and unconditional in any way. The energy on the planet has already shifted to a 5D frequency, and we are now catching up with our systems, human bodies. The energy on the planet has already shifted to a 5D frequency, and we are now catching up with our systems, human bodies our bodies are changing they are being upgraded every minute now appreciate this as part of your ascension and let go of any blame guilt shame anger judgment you are worth it and so is everyone else in 5d there is no better or worse right or wrong there is only love without any conditions any expectations any strings attached we all deserve to ascend and to free ourselves from 3D density, but only those that recognize the need of overcoming being human will walk through the gate into 5D, and you have the key, just use it, end of the message. Much love to all of you soul sisters, brothers, watch DNA previous videos for better understanding. New subscribers will be updated with the latest articles and informations. We hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual spiritual path. It's a good karma to put a like, comment, subscribe and share with your beloved ones. Leave your suggestion in the field below. All the love to you, beautiful 